Today we're going to learn about graphing rational functions. Over here we have a fraction and we're supposed to graph it. So we're supposed to use different steps to find the vertical asymptote, the horizontal asymptote, the slanted asymptote, the x and y intercept, the holes, and we have to do that to find out what e where each of the graph where each part of the graph is and how to graph it. So let's do that. So we have x squared plus 2x minus 4x plus 8. So let's first expand this. Basically, we're going to factor it up. So we're going to have x plus 2x uh, over 4 times x minus 2. So, as you can see, there's no holes because you, in order for you to have a hole, you have to have the same number on the top and the bottom. We have x plus 2 and x minus 2 and 4 and x, but we don't have x plus 2 over x plus 2 or something like that. So we would just say none for the holes. So now let us find the, the y-intercept. Basically, this is, what we, this is when we put uh, 0 for the x. So we have 0 squared. Or we're gonna, well, let's just use the new equation that we have. So we're going to have 0 plus 2. Over, uh, times 0 over 4 times 0 minus 2, which is equal to 0 plus 2 is equal to 2 times 0, which is equal to 0. Now, wait, we don't have to solve for any more, because the reason why is when we have 0 in the numerator and a number in the denominator, this is automatically equal to 0. So that means that our y-intercept is equal to 0, 0. So now let's find our slanted asymptote. So, the reason why we know we don't have any horizontal asymptote is because the is because that we have the top the, the top has a greater degree than the bottom. It has an x squared and the bottom has only an x. So let us uh, let us find the slanted asymptote. So we all, we we knew that we know that there is no horizontal asymptote because they have, we have a greater degree on the top and a lesser degree on the bottom. So we have to divide these two. Let us just use this one for that. So we have x squared plus 2x and negative 4x plus 8. Now what goes into x squared uh, that makes it equal to x squared? It would be negative 4x, negative 1 fourth x. So that would be x squared, and we would have a remainder of negative 2x. So now we're supposed to subtract it, right? So this becomes a subtraction sign, and this becomes an additional sign. So these cancel out is equal to 0 plus 4x. Now what goes into 4x? Well, negative 1. So we have a negative 1. So we have 4x, and then we have minus 8. So then we subtract it. We have uh, negative 4 and plus 8. We have 8 as a remainder. Now we don't have to do anything with this 8. We don't care about the remainder because all we needed to do was cancel out the x squared and the 2x or in this case the 4x because it got expanded to 4x. So our slanted asymptote is negative 1 fourth x minus 1. Now all we have to do is find our x-intercept and our uh, vertical axis. So the way we do this is basically we uh, just get each one of these equations x plus 2 and x and negative 4 uh, times x minus 2. So basically we only do it for the top because the numerator that's when we set each uh, equation equal to 0. So it'll be x plus 2 is equal to 0 and x is equal to 0. So if x plus 2 is equal to 0, then x is equal to negative 2. So x is equal to negative 2. And if x is equal to 0, we also know that x is equal to 0. So we have x is equal to negative 2, 0, and 0, 0. So if we have an x-intercept, then we know what the vertical asymptote is. The reason why we would know what the vertical asymptote is, it's basically when you would just switch the signs. It's whatever the x-intercept is not. So basically, 
we would have the vertical asymptote as x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 0. So, because it's anything that the x-intercept is not. So, now we have all the stuff. Now we just need to graph it. So, basically we put all the stuff in there. So, we have the x-intercept at negative 2, 0. So, we're going we're gonna to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And it's negative 2, 0. And also 0, 0. Uh, we also know our y-intercept is 0, 0. We plug that in. And we also know that our vertical axis is that x is equal to 2. Uh, like this. Oh, and also we don't have x is equal to 0 because 0, 0 doesn't matter. So we have x is equal to 2. And we also know we don't have a, a horizontal axis, asymptote. So we would have a slanted asymptote, which would be negative 1 fourth x minus 1, which would be, uh, we would start here, it would be negative 1, and it's 1, 2, 3, 4, then we jump up 1. So we'll just 1, 2, 3, 4, then we go down 1. So basically the line would be something like this. So now we have to we have we graphed everything. So now we can just draw our graph. So we know that one part of our graph is on this side because we have points here. So basically we're going to hug this uh, asymptote and then we're going to hug that one. We're just going to stop at 0 0 and hug it. So it'll go something like that. But how do we know where the other part of the graph is? Well, we did not get any other x-intercept. If we had gotten to any other x-intercept, then we would know that the graph is also here. But since we did not, we know that the graph is here. Uh, we also know that the graph is not here, because if we had a graph here, uh, let's, I'm just going to put an imaginary graph here, then this would not be a function, because you would have the vertical line test. And in that, it would fail, because you're not allowed to have the, the line uh, intersect the function more than once. So this is our graph. Today we learned about graphing rational equations. Thank you for watching this video.